Alright guys, it is spectacularly gorgeous. I mean, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times in paradise of bugs in a jar farm, it is 48 degrees here on a... Uh, 48 degrees on Wednesday, where are we, May 17th, somewhere around there maybe, so 24 hours ago, I was leaving here, right about the same time, it was 76 degrees this time yesterday, they're saying it's heading to 28 in Candor, New York tonight, uh, meaning probably 24 or 25 degrees, so uh, we are busting ass just getting uh, bugs in a jar ready for our grand opening in nine days, and uh, so guys, I'm in, got, got some bad news, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a <coughs> lawnmower contest between my $600 uh, brand new out of the box save the planet lawnmower that I bought a year ago versus the $50 the $50 uh, habitat for humanity gas sucking lawnmower so now to be fair, uh, to be fair, this is the first mowing of the year. You know, so the so the ground hasn't been mowed since October. So you know, we're looking at you know mowing something like this. All right, it's not a regularly mowed lawn. It is the first time that I have mowed in six months. So. Uh, I got my, uh, broke out my brand new, six, well not brand new, it has one season on it, my $600, it is a 60 volt, uh, what do they call that, green works, a 60 volt green works, <laughs> had it out there, <laughs> that poor machine, uh, I put the, uh, I put the, 60 volt, $600 Greenworks self-propelled mower to the test, and I give it about a C plus, I guess. Well, I don't know. I might be being a little optimistic, giving it a C plus. So then I went and I uh, remembered. Oh yeah, Hamon, you've got this mower that you bought at Habitat for Humanity for $50 right before I left for the winter. I went and bought this gas sucking mower. What it is, is a Troy built 21 inch self propelled mower. It's got a 6.75 horse 190cc Briggs and Stratton uh, engine on top of this Troy built mower. So I bought this thing last fall, you know, when people were closing down for the winter and I just stuck it under the tiny house. I, you know, I, I didn't put any stabil in the gas line. I did absolutely nothing. I crammed it under the tiny house. I bought it just so I don't have to keep mowing keep moving the damn mower up and down. That's the only reason I bought this damn gas sucking mower uh, was to use right around the tiny house. Uh, that's all I bought it for. Stuck it up under there six months ago. Walked away, forgot all about that I had the goddamn thing pretty much. And uh, so after struggling and cursing and running my batteries down and leaving a mohawk uh, uh, everywhere I was trying to mow. And I said, oh yeah, go check out that thing. So I went under that tiny house. I brought that thing down the hill and uh, I guess it was, 
about the sixth yank of the cord. You know, the, the electric mowers, of course, you don't yank the cord. <clears throat> so uh, about the sixth crank of the cord, it, it came to life. And guys, this thing went to work on these high weeds. You know, I set the wheels up as high as they would go, just like I had done uh, on the electric mower. And actually, the electric mower's wheels went a lot higher. So, uh, you know, this, uh, this gas-sucking, old-fashioned gas-sucking lawnmower uh, had a bigger challenge than the electric mower did. The thing performed absolutely flawlessly like a brand new mower uh, never conked out one time never conked out in all of these high weeds thing ran like a charm the cut was absolutely beautiful it uh, took it you know from 16 inches down to three inches and uh, you know I'm gonna do a top cut on it but uh, you know let's be honest here this is why people love their goddamn fossil fuels it was it was no contest now that the grass has been mowed you know by the fossil fuels that little pussy electric thing uh, can probably come along and as long as I mow the grass every week uh, it'll probably look fine but uh, you know when you've got a when you've got a real mowing job to do uh, you can't count you, you can't count on those little pussy electric mowers and it's the same with all of this shit the same with all of it I don't remember if does New York have they banned a uh, new gas sucking law? I can't. I think California has, and I can't imagine New. It won't be long before New York, where you won't be able to uh, buy a fucking uh, gas powered lawnmower anymore in the state of New York, and you're going to be fucked the first time you go to mow your grass every spring. You're going to be totally fucked. So anyway, one thing that I have learned is, you know, with all of these people buying these little pussy uh, electric mowers, so a bunch of people uh, are going to be trading in their perfectly good gas-sucking lawnmower. I mean, this is a damn good time to be going to Habitat for Humanity, your local restore, pawn shops. Uh, secondhand stores, yard sales, garage sales, to pick up a perfectly good uh, gas sucking mower for one twelfth, one twelfth the price you're going to pay for one of these little uh, pansy electric mowers right out of the box. Anyway. This fucking little green bullshit. Alright, we're now down to 45 degrees. The temperature dropped 3 degrees just going up the hill. I am heading to the Amish folks to pick up my brand new better curtains. We got my, I got my curtains and we're putting on the solar panels and the screen port so come see me at bugs in a jar farm oh i got a story about that but i'll tell it here in another rant bye guys